Hey guys, it's me Parker. Welcome to my channel. I feel like I've been away forever. Um, it's uh been like a week and a half or something. Like I almost feel like I'm rusty doing my readings. The readings today have been super grounded, like super 3D, like there's nothing really crazy spiritual coming out. I feel really just chill on my, my energy today, probably because it's a Libra new moon. Um, just feeling kind of balanced and like meh you know, uh, scaled out, you know, um, but there is a heavy, if the astrology is not current for you, that's okay, the message still could be, um, but there's a huge, huge, at this point, this energetic cycle emphasis on relationships, we've got Mercury retrograde in Scorpio, hugely transformational energy in the mental space, um, our perception, especially like our communication with others. In Mer a lot of readers call uh, Mercury retrograde like return of the X season because people think retrograde in the mind, memories, right? People are going back to memories and they're like, oh, like, you know, um, I don't like how that ended or like, oh, I really need to let go of this now um, or having shifts in perspective relating to others um, in their cycles with others, right? Um, and with Libra, with all the Libra, we have a ton of Libra energy right now. There, as I'm recording this, it's a new moon in Libra, so we're birthing new cycles um, relating to uh, our how our decisiveness, you know, our justness, our fairness, our balance. But it's all mostly in the realm of relationships, you know, especially with that Mercury retrograde energy. Um, so yeah, we'll see. I don't know who I'm reading for yet. Ace of Cups, that's been coming out for everyone today. I love it. Uh, this is my second attempt filming this reading. I still don't know who I'm reading for. Um, but I, last time I heard falling in love. <laughs> Libra. That's funny. Okay. Libra. Happy birthday to my Libras. I hope you guys are enjoying this energy with the sun and the moon. Again, great time to manifest new cycles, especially with those around you and yourself, um, but balance, you know, King of Swords, there's that sword energy of yours, Libra, <laughs> wow, big sword of truth, Libra, Anushin, Cancer, I just did the Cancer reading, Libra. Messages for Libra. Alright, there's that King of Swords again. I don't know why this reading is all going to be about being decisive. I can kind of feel it already. Um, okay, Libra. Messages and energies for Libra. Okay. <laughs> wow, Five of Cups. I haven't seen what came out yet. Uh, this has been coming out for everyone. Not surprising again. Um, you know, relationships. Uh, this is Soulmates. Cups, two cups coming together. Uh, friend, lover, business, uh, just partnership, right? Two cups, emotions, um, communication, emotion. And wow, there's that king of swords again. I'm looking right at it. That's very decisive energy. It's like momentum, um, specifically communication with that swords, but it's like a force to be reckoned with. Very decisive is that energy. King of two of cups going after what you want two of cups but there's like this bound there's the devil underneath and then there's bound and loss and grief of sadness of some kind so this is like the underlying energy this king is not actually moving or communicating or being decisive um bound with that devil energy and it's because of this five of cups so we'll see what that's relating to the hermit oh my gosh seriously you can't make this stuff up you saw how those cards flew out this has been coming up for everyone. Again, we're in that isolation. A lot of people are still in isolation. This is like a Mercury retrograde card. Virgo, we do have some Virgo energy right now. I believe Venus is in Virgo. Um, it's about to enter your sign, actually. Uh, I didn't write down when. I'm sorry. <laughs> I've been away for a bit, so I'm kind of rusty on my astrology, too. Um, the Hermit, Virgo energy. Um, very interesting. Uh, this is doing inner work. Hearing the inner call, looking for the star. Um, so with this, I'm getting looking for meaning behind this five of cups so that this king of swords can move past it and move again. Looking for meaning. <laughs> wow. Yeah, again, not moving. Not moving, but there's this like 
new cycle and momentum wanting to be had here. That's quite a bit of Taurus energy and Virgo coming out. So you could have Virgo in your chart be dealing with a Virgo. King of Pentacles, very stable masculine energy, but he's just kind of sitting in one spot. I see this very, very, very much so as this hermit um, with this five of cups energy. Again, grief, loss, sadness of some kind. I'm actually going to read the description for that. Sometimes I read from the Tattoo Tarot, and it's fitting because I'm actually using the Tattoo Tarot today. Um, but I like their descriptions. Five of Cups, regret. Mm, yeah, it could be regret. Uh, again, this king's not moving forward. He's just sitting and healing, trying to heal this Five of Cups energy. Limited loss, bereavement, inherited, not inheritance not as anticipated superficial disappointing relationships um lacking love bitterness spoiling good things a possible new start possible new start yeah so that devil bound energy right um i want to read from this one too actually Some of your dreams have not materialized. So again, there is like a disappointment energy here that's stalling out this king. And I'm hearing getting over it with that. Trying to get over something. Can be their loss to you with that loss five of cups energy. Um, or simply it's time to move on, change your goals here. Um, Travel the wonderful journey. Some of you are going to be traveling somewhere when you finally move. You're going to be like, ah, oh, I'm just going to like fly to Asia or something. Because <laughs> this is the world, right? It's very indicative of travel. And it's that new start. It's this king when he uh, unplucks himself out of this hermit mode here. Um, and very attached to this, this loss or regret of some kind with that devil energy. It's preventing this king from moving forward. There is healing happening here with this. Um, so we'll see, we'll see what comes out under that. Um, a balanced throat chakra will give you freedom to express yourself and pursue new ideas and relationships. Don't get trapped in the past. So again, hanging on, try to get over it. That's what I heard. For there lie only confused emotions. There may be an opportunity in your future to revisit your old dreams and new. There's something being let go of. And that's not to say that's forever. It's just that this king, man or woman, is just sitting. Very stable and rooted is that king of pentacles and that four of swords energy. They're trying to sort something out with that hermit energy and get over something. Um, yeah. Does say calcite will help you. If you have calcite, you can definitely check that out. Interesting. Okay. Stay emotionally strong. There is a weakness with this too. And I'm sorry to say it that way. It's just with that bound energy, it's prevent it's trying to be healed and let go of, right? Um, all right, so let's look at this uh hermit king of pentacles energy. Two of paths. <laughs> Again, there is a need to let go of the past with that Mercury and Scorpio retrograde energy. A lot of that is being brought being brought up. Any boundness to that Five of Cups energy is being brought up to be released with that world cycle. Wow, came to the Queen of Pentacles though. Very stable. Tell me about this Hermit King of Pentacles <laughs> for Libra. Oh wow, justice. Interesting. Oh, ah. You know, it got super itchy there. Why is this King of Pentacles in this hermit state, this Five of Cups attached to it, needing to cut something away, get over something? What is this Five of Cups? Needing to move. Find victory. What's this? Tell me about this hermit King of Coins with this Five of Cups. What is being healed here? Four of Swords is very healing, meditative, but can be very isolated energy. Manifestation. Wow, Gemini uh, Virgo, and uh, Virgo energy. A lot of Virgo coming out here. Uh, definitely could be dealing with a Virgo or have Virgo in your chart. I'm um, just saying, your ruler. Uh, 
I'm trying to think of where Mercury, where Venus is right now. Oh, I think it's in Virgo, moving into your sign, just saying. Uh, that's a lot of Virgo energy. Um, yeah, the magician, okay. Uh, the magician. Yeah, definitely trying to get over. He's like, he's like, I'm ready for my, my new start here with this world cycle. Trying to manifest that. Anything else about this Hermit King of Pentacles energy? Why the Five of Cups? Hmm. <laughs> Going towards emotional fulfillment here. Tell me about this Five of Cups energy. Let's give them something more specific. This is very vague. The readings today have been very vague. There's just Four of Swords. Very vague, Spirit. Come on, give me some fun here. Four of Swords. Clarifying the Four of Swords. Just trying to manifest, but... Taking a break to get over something so you can push forward again. Have celebration. Um, this could have been loss of a celebration. Could have been a cheating scenario. I'm not overly getting that, but this is like partying or three cups. Um, you and another two cups or the other person um, could have led to some loss here. Interesting. Uh, reciprocation on the bottom in a love connection. Potentially um, needing to communicate about that. Wow. That king of swords being decisive. This is that world energy when this king moves. Wow, king to the queen. Just saying a true pair. Masculine and feminine or being very unified in this. Uh, this is can be like the release of, um, you know... Moving forward again um, with that sort of truth here. That is your energy here. Um, this can be like gaining an, an understanding, like a higher understanding of something. This can be a download. Um, wow, with that hermit and the four of swords and the ace of swords and this, it can be totally be a download of clarity, um, allowing you to release this attachment to the loss Um in love connections and move towards your your just ultimate stability and fulfillment shared with others right heavily indicating your relationship with others here but it doesn't look like anything specific right now if that is then it is um but this you know it's like a download of information from spirit with that four of swords very meditative energy looking for the answer here um and then there's reciprocation so for most of you, I'm reading this two ways. Um, for most of you, with that getting over it energy, there was an attachment to lack of fairness, reciprocation, balance, give and take inside soul relationships, uh, soul contracts, friendship, love, work otherwise. Uh, could be your dog. Um, won't let you pet it, but it like treats you like a total jerk. <laughs> you know, it could just be anything. We have lots of soulmates, right? Um... There's an attachment here to like a lack of that or a loss of that or giving too much and then not receiving it back like an imbalance or with this it can be like a gifting energy like one giving the other receiving um, maybe some of you that's just you know can be out of balance with that that loss energy that grief energy here um, but for some of you um, you know, that's very past energy, and now you're just in the stable um, King of Pentacles healing mode, um, manifesting this is what you want moving forward. And you're willing to put a lot of work into it. To some of you, you're communicating this with that Ace of Swords, but for some of you, you're just studying the shit out of your own happiness and what you want to celebrate in life, what is to be celebrated and worked on in your life. Um, you're this other person, um, and then manifesting that right because you want this you're tired of dealing with this in these connections right or this happened and now you're trying to heal and gain a new perspective um and you're working very diligently on yourself in this process with that eight of pentacles and listening to spirit trying to get in tune um with clarity on why this happened why you can't let it go um 
why that person did that thing potentially, or just what you want. What is your star, right? All right, uh, let's look at the world now. That's the movement. That's when this king gets this aha moment. Um, what is this king moving towards with this world energy? Wow, very stable, single, independent energy. Hmm. Tell me about the world. You might be seeing that something was a blessing in disguise. There is rejection here as well. Tell me about this world energy. For my Librans, just a new beginning. <laughs> moving forward. Tell me about the world for Librans. What are they moving into with this world? It's very cyclical. It's the end of the tarot, right? See, it's like a final ending or like coming together. Wow, a lot of Leo energy showing here. Oh, yeah, conquering this pain and sad. Wow, look at that, you guys. Wow. Pain, sadness, heartbreak, betrayal. I don't like doing readings like this, but sometimes it does come out in the reading. For some of you, this is definitely a cheating scenario. It caused you a lot of pain. A lot, a lot of pain. And it's really hard for you guys to see the bigger picture here. It's affecting your manifestation because there's an attachment to it. It's a block, right? That person's laid out three swords in the heart. Very painful. And uh, <laughs> we do have this moving to the nine, eight, nine, ten on the bottom. So, yeah. And victory. So putting a lot of work into the self. Some of you, because I'm picking up on two groups here, um, two or three groups here. Um, again, for some of you, this person's been doing a lot of inner work. A lot with that four of swords and the hermit. Um, they've been doing a lot, a lot of inner work and it's putting them into this, it's moving them into this nine of pentacles energy, or maybe they're already there because they put so much work in and that's where this celebration is trying to come in because now it's time to share that with other people, right? Um, there's that six of swords again, that, mo that motion when this king comes out of this self work or like healing energy, healing this, wow. Taming the inner beast, taming thoughts of sadness, um, loss, um, any sort of loss, depression even. This could be depression with that ten of swords and that person laying down. This person could be sleeping a lot too if they're not in the empowering themselves boat. Um, if, that's, if this current energy for them struggling with loss, sadness, struggling to get over something for some of you. Again, it was a third party situation. Hey, sorry guys. All right, the world though, but that's being overcome. And that's a lot of Leo energy there. Just saying, if you have Leo in your chart or you know you're dealing with someone who does this, you know, there is a Ten of Pentacles, which is shared and there is a Three of Cups here. Um, so again, that's either past energy shared with other people. And the cycle is looking at this, wrestling with this loss and attachment to loss um, inside inner work. This cycle coming to completion, um, whether you're currently or this person's currently in that. But the world's like release of that, the end of that. Whoa. <laughs> wow. Memories, back and forth with memories here. Um, yeah. So for, you know, the boat where this is still affecting... Um, your stability, you, you're really struggling with letting go, <sighs> dropping the attachment to this painful situation, um, almost refusing to, to, to drop this attachment to it. This can be memories, um, it can also be childhood, um, but it's like the soul, it can speak to soul connections. It's all about how you're treated in soul connections um, or how you treat people. Um, two, there's a healing of that. And then there's this reciprocation, <laughs> reciprocation. Um, there's that 10 of cups again, uh, whether you had this and it wasn't reciprocal and that led to this attachment to this loss of that, um, which again, is just a perception, right? The four of swords with that clarity coming in, that's a change in perception, Sometimes like in a tower style fashion where it's like, ah, bolt of lightning, um, clarity coming in. 
Um, but for some of you with this magician and for the boat where the, you've been doing this inner work, again, this is coming together, right? Very equal give and take. It's giving and taking very equally with others. And that's the world. That's the cycle here is that now this, this inner healing, you've released the attachment to the sadness of a past event. Um, and you're moving into this now. Or for some of you, you're very much currently in that energy, struggling with the attachment um, and again, memories, right? Mercury retrograde, rehashing out. Things are being brought up because you can't sit in this kind of attachment to an outcome like this, right? Forever, um, it, with that devil energy, it's just a block moving forward for this king of swords, as, as I'm seeing as you guys, right? Because you're coming out as masculine energy. Um, why is the Ten of Cups coming out here? Ooh, tower moment. Woo! <laughs> Wow, and this can be like party heavy energy too. For some of you, um, you're gaining maturity and understanding about what you actually want in your life and you're moving towards it, you know, wrestling with the inner beast of being attached. Sometimes sometimes it's easy to stay um, in a depressive state or a state where we're like attached to our sadness because, you know, we're already there. If we, if we move into something else that gives us hope and we get burned again, you know, it feels like it hurts 10 times as much. Whereas if we just stay in it and we keep our expectations low, you know, and we don't move and we just sit in it and stay in that attachment, um, it's not as scary, right? And you can't, and for some of you, for some of you, you're struggling with moving forward to your fulfillment because you're afraid of losing it, right? It's like, what if I take um, this risk? What if, you know, I manifest this celebratory, very reciprocal energy and it turns out to be false too? There is a hint of that too. Again, there's an attachment to loss of some kind here, right? Um, loss or grief. Um, so how that's playing out looks differently for all of you, but for some of you, it's just attachment to the potential of losing something. It's like, you know, you're manifesting this very beautiful Ten of Cups, Ten of Pence, Three of Cups energy, celebration and joy and contentment and love with that Two of Cups. Um, but you're almost like wanting to stay attached, not moving because you want to stay attached to um, not having it because you're afraid of losing it. You know, it's like, but if I lose that, if I have that, then I, and it goes away, eight, nine, ten, you know, um, if I put the work in and, you know, move to the 10 in this soul connection, um, what if it goes away? What if I lose it, right? And then I'm left with this. There's fear, you know, again, attachment, fear, a block regarding loss of some kind. Um, and with the strength, it's like really holding on to that. For a lot of you, though, you are in this boat where you've been doing this self-work and you've coming in, you're coming into or have come into clarity of some kind and now you're manifesting and you're ready for that because this is the end, right, of the tarot. It's, it's over now. You've released that or you're currently releasing it and you're moving into, you're dropping the pinnacle of the burden of that attachment and now you're moving into this energy. You're ready for it now. You've release the attachment to the past, the memories, or what have you, the world. Wow, five to the six of swords, moving away from painful communications or behaviors. Um, being screwed over is this card. Um, it's it's like literally, I will do whatever I need to do to get mine. Um, again, so in the past, for those that have been burned, um, or just moving away from the your own mental acrobatics regarding reciprocation and soul connections um you're moving out of that because of this inner work of clarity there is an ace of swords in there right four five six ace of swords um boom bolt of lightning clarity coming in um regarding you know even the fear of the potential of this or the past or even yourself holding yourself back manipulating right um you know, being bound to sadness. Um, but that's tower, right? There's tower energy here. There's a tower of some kind and it's coming through clarity. Um, probably could be by way of communication, especially with another person. We did have a true pair that showed up earlier, um, but that I'm just very much seeing that as clarity either because of putting in the work or because it, it's stagnant. It's too stagnant and spirits coming in to help with this. Um, 
There is an Ace of Swords here somewhere. Um, the world, clarifying the world. Isn't that card so freaking awesome? I love it. Her third eye is like so cool. And she's like, she's pregnant with the world. <laughs> I love that. Wow, moving four, five, six. There's a lot of progression. Eight, nine, ten of pentacles. Four, five, six. We did see the eight of cups to the ten. A lot of progression. The star of the hermit, he found the star. Look, look, he's looking for the star. My star, my healing, um, my satisfaction or my confidence. Um, this can be bound in lack of confidence, inner strength and willpower, right, as well. That fear of having, um, you know, the ultimate um, family life or stability or sharing with other people. Look, he's looking for the star. This just came out together. That's so cute. He found the star. He's actively looking on this side in this healing energy, right? Actively looking or doing a lot of self-work. Um, or healing after a very painful experience. And then he's found it. And that's the world. And that's this being over now. Finding the star. For some of you, it is another person. And you're opening yourself up to that. You're letting go of the beast of struggling with that. With the fear of losing it. Or the attachment to the loss of the past. Um, wow, healed. Found the star. Beautiful. Look at them. They're like a couple. <laughs> She's so gorgeous too. Aquarian energy. Very, very, very beautiful. He found the star. He's not actively looking. He's found it. Wow. I love that that came out together. Wow. Page of Cups. <laughs> For some of you, you are going to be moving towards collaborating with others in this healed energy. Um, or this is coming into you. And it's honest. Um, because you've done the work. This is what you're manifesting. Either you moving forward or coming in towards you. Or, you know... Um, just being very honest in the heart space and communication. 